In order to build long-term trust with your customers and establish authority in your niche, you want to make sure your Shopify store is well branded. From your Shopify dashboard, you can easily add your brand logo, cover image, favicon, select your brand colors, and provide other details about your brand. Once you add your brand assets and information, they'll appear across all of your sales channels, themes, and selected apps in your Shopify store. There are several places you can add your logo and other brand assets, so let's head over to Shopify and go over how to add branding to your online store. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your Shopify dashboard. From here, you can manage your products, customize your theme, and of course, add your branding. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So first, let's go over how to add default branding to your Shopify store settings. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side, go all the way down to the bottom, and click on the settings tab. This will open up a new window where you can manage all of your Shopify store settings. From the menu on the left hand side, let's scroll down and click on the brand tab. Here's where you can start customizing your online store with your own branding, including your logo, your brand colors, and much more. On Shopify, your default logo will be shown in most places. It should be in HEIC, JPEG, or PNG format and have a minimum of 512 pixels. To add your logo, go ahead and click the plus sign icon on the right hand side here. This should pull up your image gallery. To upload our logo, let's click on the add image button. You can then find your logo, then click on open. Once your logo finishes uploading, make sure you have it selected, then click on done at the bottom right. And there we have it. My new logo has been added to my Shopify store. If you look on the right hand side, you can also see a small preview of how my new logo will look in my shop. A square version of your logo will also be added, which is used on some social media accounts. Under your logos, you can also select your online store primary and secondary color. When selecting your colors, make sure you're selecting colors that are consistent with your brand. Once you select your colors, you can then add a cover image. Your cover image is the key image for your brand and should be at least 1920 by 1080 pixels. When adding your cover image, make sure it's in HEIC, JPEG, or PNG format and is consistent with the branding of your store. If you need a fast and easy way to create cover images, logos, and other graphics for your store, you can use Canva to easily create some awesome designs. So now that I've used Canva Pro to create a cover image for my store, let's click the add cover image button here. Just like we did when uploading our logo, let's click on add image, then open up the cover image we just created. Once it finishes uploading, make sure it's selected, then click on done. There we go. My quantum design store now has a cover image. Under your cover image, you can also add your brand slogan. This will be a short tagline typically used with your logo that can be up to 80 characters. Next, you can add a short description of your store, which is typically used in your bios and listings. This is a brief description of your store, which can be up to 150 characters. And finally, you can click the drop down menu here to connect your social media brand pages. Simply select the platform that you want to connect, then paste in the link to your page. Once you've added your logo, cover image, descriptions, and other branding, make sure you look up at the top right here and click the save button. And voila, we've just set up basic branding for your store. If we scroll back up to the top of the page and check out our store preview, we can see all of the graphics and elements that we just added. So now that we've added our default brand assets, let's go back to our Shopify dashboard and go over how to add our meta title, meta description, and our social sharing image. From the menu on the left hand side, let's go ahead and click the online store tab. This should take you to your themes menu. Underneath your online store tab, you should now also see some other subcategories available as well. From here, let's go down and click on preferences. This will take you to the preferences page where you can add a title and meta description for your brand and also add a social sharing image. So let's start by adding a homepage title. This can just be a short title under 70 characters that describes your store. Next, you can add your homepage meta description. Both your title and your meta description help define how your store shows up in search engines, so make sure you include some good keywords and phrases. This will improve your SEO and help customers find your store. 
you can use up to 320 characters in your meta description. Once you've added your title and meta description, you can then move down to the social sharing image section. Here's where you can add an image that will show up whenever you share a link on social media. If another relevant image isn't available, this one will be used by default. You can upload a standard PNG or JPEG file and the recommended size is 1200 by 628 pixels. To upload my image, let's click the add image button here. I can then find and open up the image that I want to use. So now whenever I share my store link on social media, my social sharing image will be displayed along with my store details. So now that we've updated our preferences, let's go back up top and click on save. So next, let's go over how to add your favicon, your logo, adjust your typography, and more from your theme settings. To adjust your theme settings, let's look on the left hand side and click on the themes tab. Here's where you can change or customize your Shopify store theme. So to add our favicon, logo, and other brand assets to our Shopify store theme, let's look on the right hand side and click the customize button. This will take you to the Shopify theme editor. From here, you can fully customize your theme any way that you like. So to add our brand assets, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click the theme settings, which is the paintbrush icon. Here you'll see tons of customization options that you can add to your Shopify theme. So let's start by going to the logo tab. From here, you can add your brand logo to your theme and also upload an image to use for your favicon. For your logo, make sure it's a PNG or a JPEG format and has a minimum size of 512 pixels. I recommend uploading your logo in PNG format with transparency so it'll have a transparent background. Once you upload your logo, you'll see it appear on your theme preview on the right hand side. Right below the logo section, you'll also see a slider bar where you can adjust your logo width. When you adjust your logo width, you'll see it also update on your theme preview on the right. Feel free to adjust your logo width to whatever looks the best in your store. So once you've added and adjusted your logo, you can then go down and add your favicon image. Your favicon image is the small image that appears beside your store name in your website browser. Make sure you upload a square image and it will automatically be sized down to 32 by 32 pixels. Once you add your logo in your favicon, you can then move down to the next menu, which is your colors. Here's where you can update the primary colors for your theme, which is used for foreground colors and solid button backgrounds, and also your secondary colors used for things like your foreground and text links. When selecting your colors, make sure you use your brand colors and other accent colors that complement them. Once you add your colors, you can then move down to the next menu, which is your typography. If your brand uses a specific text style or font, you can select it here. You can change the font for your headings, your body, and other areas of your theme. To change a font, simply click the change button and you can select from tons of different fonts that you can use for your online store. From your theme settings, there are many other customization options you can select as well. Feel free to take your time and customize your theme as needed. But for branding, let's scroll down to the social media tab. Here's where you can add links to your social media brand pages. You can add links to your Facebook page, your Instagram page, YouTube, TikTok, and more. So go ahead and add the URLs for your various brand pages. Once they've been added, make sure you go up to the top right and click on save. There we go. Customers will now have an easy way to access your brand pages directly from your Shopify store. There are tons of customization options that you can adjust, so make sure you take your time and adjust your settings until everything is exactly the way you want it for your brand. And once you're finished, you'll then have your own branded Shopify store that reflects who you are as a business and provides some memorable shopping experience for your customers. So that's a quick overview of how to add branding to your Shopify store. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.